Good morning, good morning, this is Pigsy, um, doing another video. I was asked what sort of um, projects uh, I've been involved in. So I've got one that's um, a personal project that I'm, I'm working on for somebody. Um, it's going to be like a dragon with sort of all gone and stuff in it. Anyway, this, this as I just showed you just slightly a minute ago, uh, what a second ago, there we go, this is my golden egg. Um, so at the moment I'm just sort of playing around the design, I'm likely to change all that, I mean I've put this... Uh, wrapping on it of sorts um, because I didn't want to rub the gold off it was an absolute nightmare put using like craft gold and stuff on it um, unless you got the proper glue because the problem is it will come off it will come keep coming because you're you're more sticky than anything else and then what what I did is uh, is I coated it with like a yacht a yacht type um, varnish and that didn't dry that well and it was that was annoying so I put in some grease through paper and I put it in the oven <laughs> on 200 or something, 200 degrees so I cooked it up a bit, only for about 20 minutes, something like that, 15-20 minutes and it was red hot and then basically it dried itself a lot quicker because once it was out of the oven it was it was hot for a good half an hour, basically the energy went into it um, this is a golden organ egg um, I could say that it's copyrighted to um, myself, but um, anyone can use it. That's just, there's nothing there. Just in case somebody turns around and say, "Hang on, you've invented an organ egg. I've got the patent for organite eggs or something, and I'm going to sue you because there are people like that out there." Um, but believe it or not, even though you can't actually paint, you can't, you cannot copyright. Organite because it is a chemical mix. It's like you can't copyright a toothbrush. Um, you can copyright your own design, um, but the actual process you can't. You know, otherwise people would be copyrighting stupid stuff. Um, yeah, so it's a bit like somebody walks around with a shoe on. Someone say, "Well, I was the original inventor of the shoe." Or I just come out of the woodwork and say I've copyrighted it, that type of shoe. But so you can have you can have things, the design and brands. That's why brands have got the logos. They can say that logo's theirs. Um, but there are areas you can't do, and 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 there's a bit of a kerfuffle with some people that they will actually push for copyrights on stupid stuff. Um, I've experienced it. Someone, I I mean I'd run in a store and I online store and put something on there. And because of the words, someone challenged it, and then they were saying, and then the shop was saying, well, you should write to them and and sort of um, sort it out with them. I mean, they don't really, they could have wrote to me in the first place and say, look, could you just change the wording, because I use that for my product. But it turns out the person doesn't even make the stuff, so he's put Organite there in there, um, but all he's doing is selling chi cards and things you print out and to feel this is not even it's not even related to organ it's just the idea of quantum entanglement however it doesn't work unless you have a strong sense of consciousness it's the consciousness that's doing it it's a bridge um so like you've got two two things with the same symbol and design you can focus sending this information to the other one you know like um you know a bit like with with lovers they'd have like the the, the love heart pendant and it would be like one half would be you for you one half is for me uh, they could focus on that, and they focus on the loved one, or the mud lock of hair, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, so that's his own methodology. Um, anyway, this is um, a different type of organ. Someone says, "Oh no, it's organite. You can't have that." No, because it hasn't actually resin-based. It's um, what I've got in there is I've got a my special um, Norwegian pine cone design for my things. Uh, basically, it's like. Um, like a consciousness drive for it. So, um, but then again, I cooked it, so God knows what it'd be like in there at the moment. It still has the information on it because it's um, it has that thing with the Fibonacci sequence inside it. So it's kind of like um, like a channel, really, a channel for the information for nature. It's, it has got a crystal in there as well. And um, what I've done is I um, I put a solenoid, I put a solenoid around the actual um, pine cone with several layers of that. It had um, some iron wool wrapped around it as well, and then I put a layer of, of um, clay, and um, then I did an did it again. I did another layer. It's got another layer of um, solenoid on top of that, and then another layer of clay. Um, probably best you only do the one solenoid rather than two because it actually gets quite messy. Um, and then um, and then basically just smoothed it off. What I did is I wrapped it in. Um, 
um, cling film, and then I just sort of all I did is sort of rubbed it, rubbed it, get the get the actual shape of it in there. Um, and then the next stage was was what was I going to do with it? Was I going to use it as a part of a doll's body? Or I mean, I thought about the egg. I thought the egg would be pretty cool. Um, you know, I'm not exactly happy with what I've done at the moment with this. It's just really so I could get it out there and show show it off really. Um, and then I say, like I say, the gold was a bit of a bit of a pain. Um, I may be also making some other interesting things. I might add I might add metals to paint. So add the metal to the paint and paint it onto something, and that way it's got that connection. Um, I've got a mask I'm working on, so I might actually have um, you the first Lumerian um, mask, um, Ascension mask, and that'd be pretty cool. I mean, I, I would encourage people to make their own. However, clay is probably an under-used under, um, resource, and the science for Organite was to have layer of metal, um, an organic level, you know, this basically just different layers and then the energy would be drawn into one layer and then trapped by the other and reflected and it's just kind of build up a current basically. Um, the solenoid does that anyway. The actual egg, if you've got a good, if you make something quite good, there's two things you'll have. I mean when you've got a lot of metal and you get hit by sunlight, it'll get quite hot and it'll sort of radiate a lot of, a lot of heat, different type of energy. At the moment, this thing is radiating a lot of cold. You, you, I can feel it's, it feels warm here because of this. The material feels really nice and warm, but the actual egg itself um, is colder than what's in the car. Back that way, um, yeah. So it's quite an interesting um, little thing, um, and it feels nice actually. It feels nice to hold. So that's usually a good sign of good energy levels, uh, good frequencies, because you kind of have an attraction to things that are natural energies and organs because they resonate with your own energy. Um, I may do some other, like I say, design work. I'll play around with it later. I might even look up some of the old sort of Russian and Russian type eggs and then get an idea for that. Um, so yeah, so go make your own, have fun. Um, clay is very cheap, that's the other thing as well. If you go to like a model modeling shop, you can get four quid and you'll get a big chunk of clay. Um, if you get resin, it costs a lot more. Uh, probably best to go on to um, eBay and get yourself um, get yourself a, like a, a, a sort of um, kilogram or something or whatever. And just get yourself a little um, container of the resin. And it's usually, I mean, I use like a polyester type resin with um, with a catalyst agent. Add, I thought we should add to that. Um, you have to get it right because you can get too. You can get really hot. I mean, I'm really cool on fire it's smoking away once when I made something I mean I could still put resin as a kind of barrier around it it's a bit more difficult with an egg because I'd have to put it in something paint the resin on and it would just wreck the tooth it would wreck the brush or whatever I've applied it with um, you could play it with, put it with a stick or something you'd have one of them um, like sticks you put on your, your tongue <laughs> them sort of ones but, but the only thing is you have to be careful it drips if it drips here then you'll come out an angle on here on a flat surface and then you'd have this resin chunk out here and it's like um, it's not like you just file it off or something it would actually snap and and it would make you'd have to you'd have to reset it that way again wouldn't you you'd have to either you could try to cut round it with a hot knife or something and then use the other end and put another t on the top or if you can make a mold completely you could do that um, but different experiments definitely I don't think people are, are playing around with um, clay enough clay crystals and metals um, and also organic things like I say you put nature into something you've basically it's almost like you've um, put a program inside it of some sort so it's drawing upon that energy I mean you could make negative things as well the other thing I would say about organ is I don't know if up and aluminium is a good thing I need to do a bit of research I mean basically we know that al aluminium isn't great for your body it's a bit like someone said yeah you know what let's put powdered lead in it um, might be something to think about because it could cause some adverse effects of it. I'm sure the person who's actually painted the uh, word organite understands that could be health risks involved with having aluminium put into something. Um, e even though it's not a reactive metal, um, it's not really something you want to have loads in your body. Um, and there's also talk about it causing issues like Alzheimer's and stuff like that. So you want to put something that could cause Alzheimer's into something it's going to be near you, it's going to resonate that energy, I don't think that's so wise. You're probably better off looking for the elements in your body, like carbon, um, iron, copper, and things like that. And there's gold and other things. And adding that into your design, because that way it reflects what you are, energy-wise. It's just that 
how you use it, you've got to be cautious because even though it's got resin on it, it can still leak out um, the metals basically. So yeah, anyway, this is Peter signing off and um, speak to you soon.